Back for another one. Hey guys, we're uh, finishing up the last quest of Thaumaturgy here, and then we're going to be doing one final quest with Miro, and then that'll be it for today's stream in terms of what we're recording. So yeah, here it goes. Okay, this will teach us Mana Ward. We'll get a weapon that's not as good as what we got. A chest piece not as good. And once again, we can get boots that are better. Cool. Mana Ward, however, creates a bear that nullifies damage, totaling up to 30% of maximum hit points. So you get a way to defend yourself. <laughs> Fortune has favored us, Miro. Coco Pussy has been spotted at Vesper Bay. Of course. We cannot let this opportunity pass us by. Head there with all due haste. And with you, uh, take these descriptions from my brother's likeness and Mormo's mannerisms. Relay this information to some of our local residents and see what you can find. Oh, this person's kind of cool looking. All right, so uh, we have all these Vesper Dead Bay tickets, so let's go use them. Hey. We gotta find people to talk to here, huh? Okay, not there. Jeremy, when was the last time you had Enfecal casted on you? Hey there, Gebhard. Hmm? Something I can do for you, stranger? The square parchment contains information on Kukubusi, the cross. Now that I mentioned it, I did see a Lullaho who matches his description. He's watching the fairies come in with more than a passing interest. Looking to hire some adventurers or some such, I reckon. That's not them. Okay, now let's go into this building. It's Wilfred. Bashful Geyser. What's up, Niz? You say you're looking for someone? Hmm, I believe I saw your Lollapel in the company of a couple of adventures hailing from Linsa Laminsa. A marauder and a thaumatur is where I had to hazard a guess. I think they were talking about seeing the area north of here. The place I didn't go in was right here. There it is. Oakland. Welcome to the Pissed Pice, love. What can I get you? Ah, information, is it? Aye, that little bloke was in here bringing a brush, a blush to all the young maiden's cheeks. What he lacked in height, he certainly made up for in boldness. Left with more than one lass on his army, did. Oh, Mormo. Here's Kokobuki. <laughs> so Mormo has chosen this as her new hunting ground. The maidens seduced by the succubus will be prepared as vessels to hold her fully restored power. I fear they have already been slain. As for the adventures, well, I think you can imagine what Mormon intends for the Mathomaturge. We must find and warn those unwitting Lamentsons before the Void sent Sykes again. You were told that they might be headed north, yes? It would be best for you to follow suit. I'm gonna assume the last time I messaged you and distracted you from WoW. Well. That's probably it. Oh shit, hang on. I'm gonna kill these fucks. These, these bloated bogeys. I was looking to do is actually right here. Maimed Marauder. Oh, still here. It's still here. Somewhere close. 
Hey there. Hey there. Thanks, lass. Oh, my head. A little bastard said he would give us the grand tour of Ulda. <clears throat> oh, it's been grand, all right. Please. He took me mid at further north. Think he was mutton about something about Moondrip. Nero, what has befallen? I sense the presence of a void scent, but it appears you have things well in hand. <sighs> Marmo is in Moondrip? A fitting place for a battle to come. It's time to finish this, my brothers. Kokobusi will be a slave to that fiend no longer. The parade of Lollapels. Alright. Hey, I could actually carry our entire party of Lollapels here. I think I should go me. I shall approach Momo first, as we discussed. If the bargaining proceeds smoothly, and the Void Sent feeds on my proffered mana, then she should soon manifest in her demonic form. Once Momo is fully present within this realm, that is when you unleash the, the seething power from the Abyss. Are you kidding me? How are you aggroing me? Also, no, get up! I'm trying to quest here. Though after lecturing you for so long on how Athometers should avoid such sets, I yet hold doubts as to whether such a direct conflict is the correct path. Miro, in your experience, what do you consider to be Athometers' greatest strength? Introspection. Hmm, yes indeed. It is perhaps only by looking within that we may find the answer we seek. I have decided. My fate awaits me. I have faith that no matter what becomes of me, you shall succeed in destroying Mormo, ending her threat to this realm. Alright guys, here we go. The level 30 Athometers quest. Oh shit, this mage is getting fucked. Enough, Mormo! Well, well, if it isn't the eldest of the cowardly Thaumaturge brothers. I thought you'd be busy whimpering under your bed wishing I'd just disappear. I'm coming to offer you a deal. I know you seek the etheric energy needed to substantiate your true form. But how much time do you intend to waste feeding on these lesser mages? Compared to these stripling sorcerers and their trembling arcane flames, my power is a blazing sun. Would you not prefer to take what I can give you? Drain my strength and assume your rightful appearance. I am sure you think me a coward, but that is of no consequence. I only wish Kokobusi returned to us unharmed. <laughs> you are wise to acquiesce, mage. Why does she need three bodies to form one body? It's very odd. <laughs> at last, at long last, my true body, my true power is mine once more. I believe a stretching of the old arcane muscles is in order. Oh, no, you don't, Voidsend. We won't let you leave here alive. <laughs> so you risk your lives in a valiant rescue attempt? You should not bet what you are not prepared to lose. I shall tear the ether from your very marrow. Your very marrow. 
Oh, they actually are going to fight her. I was worried they were just going to stand there cowering the whole time. <laughs> you screamed at my sustenance. Uh, I will keep one more focus on me. Stay well back. I fry beans for fun! Oh, she, uh, had the old version too, it looks like. Oh, she's pissed at me now. <laughs> it's alright, come, uh, come back, coming back to me. Come a little closer. Oh, she got me blizzard too. She, she weaves our threats as spells. Keep calm now. She seeks to perplex and confound us. That's true. She does seek to perplex and confound. Why are you just casting fire too? These are the worst thaumaturg moves. I bet you might be Fire 3. In case, they're still the worst thaumaturg, because you don't cast Fire 3 constantly. It's a waste of man. Now would be a good time to cast Fire 2. He died. No! What centuries I dreamed to escape! I will not be denied! We did it. What about Confound and Perplex? We won? We won! Victory is ours! Coco Booty! Coco Booty! Marmo is dead! So are they. What? Where am I? Hey, pal, you're awake, Kokobuki. Kokobusi has returned to us. Mira, what's your problem? Hi. Our our sibling has yet to return restore from his som somnolent slumber. Buki? His etheric channels have contracted. They are barely sufficient to sustain his flow of life of his life force. If we do not increase his capacity for ether soon, his vitality will drain away completely. My mana amplifying potion. Its potency is limited, but it might just be enough.
Also, why was Momo just carrying that around? See, the battle ended, as I expected. You did it, Boosie! Your alch 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 alchemy saved him! And we would not have been able to fail without you, Miro. We will bear our brother back to the Osway. Pray meet us there, that we might properly express our gratitude. And these Lollafels are so excited. Jeremy, would you date a black mage? What if they were a black mage that dabbled in white magic? Like Wayne Road, the Blood Mages sided with the Templars. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Did you see they changed the name of uh, Dragon Age uh, 4? No longer Dreadwolf, it's the Veil Guard or something, right? Was I reading that right? Dreadwolf sounded cooler, but maybe Veil Guard will be awesome too. <laughs> Thank you, Miro. After seeking refuge in the comforting shadows of the abyss for so long, I had lost sight of the blazing glory of which Somaturgy is capable. The raw power and audacity of your magecraft has freed my brothers and me from our self-imposed cowardice. I'm so excited for it. I, we need another Dragon Age. We need another Mass Effect. I thought that... Thal himself had his fingers at my throat, but this sensation of hard-won supremacy is strangely satisfying. As for you, Kukubusi, you are our brother and our respected colleague. I hope you never again underestimate the precious power you wield. Mira, you've exceeded all my expectations. In recognition of your outstanding growth as a thaumaturge, I shall impart you to, to you one of the guild's most closely guarded techniques. Mana Ward. It is the defensive weaving of energy that blunts the force of any attack made against you. It would have served you great in the previous battle, but I decided to not teach you. <laughs> I'm sure you can understand why we do not teach the secret to every stray hedge wizard who chooses to join our ranks. I, I don't, actually. Now that you've experienced the deadliest threats and the joy that comes with their obliteration, I am certain you are eager to explore just how you might descend into the chasm of thaumaturgy. May your struggles bring wisdom, and your wisdom bring courage. I, for one, look forward to hearing of your future thaumaturgical endeavors. <laughs> okay, so we get nothing but new boots. Man Award! Okay. So with that said, let's equip our new boots. All right, they look decent. So we have one a new quest available to us. I'm not sure where. Okay, back that's good. We have another quest we got to do. This one should be fairly short. I don't have anything unlocked after this. I don't think. Right. Taking the black. Miro, I've been waiting for you in a way. Please let me explain. Do you know of Marasaja Pit? It's, it is a prison here in Ulda. In prison, a man will do almost most anything to keep his mind occupied of late. One inmate claims to hear the voice of Nalthal. No doubt he has lost his mind after serving 100 years of a life sentence. Hey, thank you for the follow. Would you call them Lou Boots? Yes, exactly. Apparently Mark, Mary, and Jennifer Hale confirmed they are not in the next Mass Effect, which you personally are all right with. No doubt he has lost his mind after serving 100 years of a life sentence. But he knew of you by name, Miro, the ma and maintains the traitors uh, uh, demand you win them the Gem of Shatoto in exchange for its release. 
a farce, no doubt. I make for it nothing more than a maniacal ravings of a fellow a Cassell crazed sweaty tooth madman, but I fear the only way to be sure is to free him from the pit. The prisoner's name is Kikiruka Tataruka, and as his story were not proof enough of his lunacy, he also styles himself a black mage. But such magic was lost to you centuries ago. What does a senile charlatan think he will fool with such rubbish? Uh, nevertheless, he's invoked the name Nalbal, and so the Order feels it unwise to ignore his words. Though I'm still no believer, you have come as you, he said you would. Let us get to the bottom of this, shall we? It may be that you are an agent of fate, or perhaps you are merely a crooked old man's accomplice. In either case, I ask that you travel to Highbridge in Eastern Vandaland, seek out the planar fissure, a rift between this world and the next, fell whatever beast might lurk there, and, the, and water the earth with their blood. According to our jailed mummer, doing so will give rise to the Gem of Shatoto. The gem is no more than a pretty stone oft mentioned in bedtime stories and the tales of fairies. We shall see if it truly exists. I shall wait to find your findings here. Return to me when the deed is done. Ten gauge, you know what this means. That's right. We're going back to Tech Camp Dry Bottom. Anyway, welcome. Thank you for the follow. We got a pretty great community here, so if you uh, like Final Fantasy, this is the place for you, really. Why am I Camp Blue Frog? That's not where I wanted to go. That's fine, I just keep I, I just click camp dry button, but maybe not. There we go. What if you don't like Final Fantasy? Well, there's still a place for you because I like you. Plus, I play all manner of games, not just Final Fantasy. I just happen to really like Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest and Bacon Quest. Look at this person here, just standing here with this planar fissure just behind them. Oh, also, Jeremy, I found out something interesting recently. Um, so I was playing WoW, and uh, we were doing the uh, End Times raid, and Nas Dormu, a character in the game there, was talking, and we were like, that doesn't sound like Nas Dormu, is that a different voice actor? And I looked it up, and it was a different voice actor. He, um... was uh, the original voice they had doing Nas Dormu in uh, Cataclysm, I think that's one I'm trying to say uh, was actually Martin Sheen. Yeah! <laughs> Void sent blood. Was he quite elusive? I mean, Nosdorm was typically pretty elusive. Thaumaturge, hear me. A thaumaturge, hear me. Put up your weapon, friend. Kazakh Cha means you no harm. Wow, back in the day, had all the celebs, yeah. So, you are one of whom Kukuruka's prophecy speaks. By your hand, was the blood of these creatures spilt on this urban vein, was it not? Then you have earned this, this gem of Shatoto. Take it. You will know what to do with it when the time comes. With this, my part is done. Farewell for now. Ooh, look at that.
On a scale of 1 to 10, how upset would you be if they replaced Martin Sheen with Jake Paul? Probably a 10, because Jake Paul can't act. To my knowledge, he can't act. I mean, he he, he was what? In those, like, Disney, video, uh, Disney things and uh, those prank videos? But hey, maybe he'd be really good at it. I don't fucking know. Maybe he'd be a really good voice actor. Um, he's still Jake Paul, yeah. Because, I mean, Lance Bass, he was the first voice of uh, Sephiroth that, uh, that they did. He voiced uh, him in Kingdom Hearts. I can't act either, except to act up. Aliens. Well, you certainly smell as though you've been off spilling blood, but it will take more than a waft of foulness to convince me you are an agent of divine will. I take it yours was an uneventful journey? Lance Bass would have at least had some uh, vocal training. It's true. It is also not Jake Paul, but he is Lance Bass. <gasps> it is exactly as described in the tales. Could it truly be the gem of Shatoto? Well, be good. I can feel the magic pulsing within. The tales of tell that only souls blessed by the grace of Nalthal entrusted with the keeping of the gem. This is beyond mere coincidence. I must investigate further. And you must assist me, Miro. This now involves you as much as any other. Still, I cannot shake my inner skeptic. If Kukuruku Ruka somehow made contact with the outside world, he may be manipulating adventures such as yourself for ends yet unknown to us. I will call an emergency council of the order. Please wait here. I cannot stress how important that aspect is in this situation. I can go for some sea bass right now. I haven't had sea bass in a long time. I like bass. Bass was good. As a kid, I remember really liking catfish. Oh, well, look at this. That will not be necessary. Kukuruka? What are you doing here? How have you escaped the pit? Watch your tongue, you insolent fool! Master has passed a century in meditation communing with Nalthal. You will address him with the proper respect. The jailers of Marasaja Pit are very different from the heretics of your order. Suffice it to say, they, they have wisdom enough to listen. What if the Black Mage is Telegi Alegi? I think that would conflict with the uh, storyline they were telling here. Must I remind you again? Must I, must I remind you again? The will I speak uh, is that of Nalthal himself. The true criminal is he who ignores the words of a god. Beware, Kukuruka. The Twelve seldom spare those who claim their voice. This mummer's farce will bring disaster to us all. The cause of the disaster to come will be no words of mine. Of that, be sure. Nalthal spoke unto me. His words declaration. His own declaration. The seal on the void gate will be broken. Once thrown open, it can be closed once more by none but she who bears the gem of Shatoto. I speak of you, Mirror Apprentice. The gem you hold is the mark of a mage of the black. With it in hand, you must now set forth together, or to gather the keys needed to seal the void gate. Wait, you can't! I mean, you you don't have the right to- I- I just can't let this happen! Silence, you hollow-pated prick! Those who do not listen shall not be heard! You take for yourself the title of Thaumaturge, and so I will not suffer you to claim ignorance. You know as well as any the existence of a netherworld, rife with shadow and monstrosity. The Void. As the power of the Void waxes, the barrier between it and our own world wanes. Eventually the barrier will falter and the Void Gate will open. 
Once it has, only the Black Mage of Eld can reseal it. This... this is sacrilege! As one who commands the forces of destruction, I bid you go forth, Black Mage. The Gem of Shatoto is our sigil. The mark of the Magi devoted to the true dark art. In it, you are already possessed the first key required to see the Void Gate sealed. You have taken the Black, but time is needed before the Black takes you. Before it permeates mind and body, and colors every fiber of your being dark as pitch. Visit Milvaneth Sac Sacrarium, and there hear the words of Lalai. You opened the Void Gate once, back in Nam? How, how did that feel? Do not fear the power to destroy. Master it, and with it, destroy that which would destroy you. Well, I was a Nam, and then I was here. Did it also transfer you through time as well, or...? The Milvanus Sicarium is closest to... Weaver's Guild or Miner's Guild? Really deal with dealer's choice. Go to the Miner's Guild. Apparently it did. All right. I open a void gate every day, usually an hour or two after eating. Oh. <laughs> Master is meditating in his chambers, for Nalthal always speaks and Master must listen. He has entrusted me with guiding you on your path, but you must walk alone yet. Come back when black the black has grown stronger within you. Can you stop phrasing it that way? It sounds weird. Black Mage unlocked. Yay! We learned Mana Font! Your next Black Mage quest is available from the lie upon reaching level 35. Okay, well we're not level 35, so... We are level 32, though. Can I equip anything new? Ah, oh, sick. I have an entirely new set of armor to equip, guys. Here we go. Look at that. Look how spiff we look now. Excellent. And I still don't have boots. Go figure. Oh, but I do have this. What is this? Look at that. That's cool. The long stop pole. Alright, so that's going to be it for this recording, guys. Thank you for viewing.